Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyNexusRoot.com So today, um, we're going to figure out um, how to get rid of those signal, loss of signal like a um, couple times a day This has been happening to me for like last couple months ever since I got my Galaxy Nexus um, My data would just completely drop for like 10 seconds It would happen like 3 to 4 times a day It didn't matter what ROM I installed, it just keep happening But I figured it out um, Basically it's the modem uh, based, Because I got the unlocked version, which this one's actually from Europe So it has a European modem um, So I installed the North American uh, modem and it works fine now um, so how you check your uh, modem is go to settings and go to about phone and it should the baseband version that's basically your modem there um, it says I 9250XXKK6 um, right after 9250 uh, for the, after the first five letters if it says XX that means you have the European modem if it says UG that means you have North American um, you can use both. I mean, they'll work. You know, you can use North America in Europe and Europe in North America. Um, but it, it should be that if you're in North America and you're using a, a you know North Amer North 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 American uh, sim sim card like AT and T, Rogers, Bell, or Telus, like Canada, um, then you know the North American modem should work better. And you can see I have edge there. I, I get full edge there. And uh, the you know it's. It's uh, um, also you can read the uh, the second part, the KK. The KK part uh, stands for uh, 2011. If it's um, KL, then that means it's 2012. Um, and also the last number is the month. So if you have the latest, you know that that's how you read it. I'll have a, a deciphering thing for your modem. Anyway, um, you can see I have Edge, and as soon as I install the North American modem. My phone started working a lot better. Um, I was actually getting HSDP, um, DPA plus in my uh, office here, where I usually only get Edge, and uh, getting a lot better uh, speeds. So I guess that's what was wrong. And um, I haven't so far in like the last couple of days, I haven't had any dropped data. And also, I've been running uh, 4.0.2 because I got really paranoid. Um, you might want to try that after trying the modem. If the modem doesn't work. Um, try the Android Revolution HD. Um, there's supposed to be some. There's a rumor. There's a um, that 4.0.3 has some kind of bug, but I'm thinking it's probably the radio. Um, I'm pretty sure it, my phone started working really well after the radio. Um, so let's go install the uh, radio. Um, you can uh, basically copy over the three files. I have Galaxy Nexus Baseband underscore um, three files starting with that name. I have two European uh, modems and also one um, North American modem. And also, if you find other modems, you can uh, download it on the internet and install it yourself. Um, this is for GSM Galaxy Nexus only. Please don't flash it on LTE and uh, tell me it's not working on your phone. Of course it's not. Anyway, once you copy those f files over to um, anywhere in your SD card or your internal internal storage. Sorry, I haven't got to make more videos. Power off your phone. And by the way, my foot smells like vinegar. I think I have, I need to get some, I need to put on the, um, that, was it, athlete's foot spray. Oh, hold down the volume up and volume down and the power button together until you see that after you power it off. Um, it's because I have a dog and I don't want the dog to eat the, the spray, so my it's just getting smellier every day. Reco go to recovery mode using the volume button and hit the power button. Um, so hopefully, you know, one of these days I'll put this spray on and the smell will be gone. Actually, I, I got it from one of my friends um, who's wearing one, one of my slippers and he I con contracted his athlete's foot. Anyway, um, so you got into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, basically, you're gonna do install from uh, SD card. That's that's pretty much it. And just find the file and zip it. Um, and then choose choose zip from SD card. Uh, let me. Yeah, can you see? There you go. Choose zip from SD card. And then find find it where you copy the three files over. 
Um, so I was on, I think, XXKL6. You can, XXKL6 is the latest one, the one from, um, no, no, actually, XXKL1 is the latest one for European, that's January of 2012. And for North American, UGKL1, that, that's from January um, this year, 2012. So I'm going to try to flash that, and that's what worked for me, and uh, install it. But again, you can try all of them and see which one gives you the best signal and best speeds and whatnot, you know. You don't have to be limited to just North American just because you're on North American. Go back, reboot system now, and uh, you know, it should give you better, you know, you should get rid of that uh, dropped data, which is very annoying. Um, but I finally like my Galaxy Nexus now and I finally figured out it was the radio. Um, so it doesn't really affect other phones, just this phone, it just, you know, I have to flash the radio. Because my, all my unlocked Galaxy Note, they get great speeds, um, well, it's, it's not, you know, so, just with Galaxy Nexus, I guess the modem is a little bit sensitive. So if you wait a little bit, if you have trouble getting HSDPA, sometimes after you flash your modem, um, just reboot it like once more and usually it'll just pop up, pop up there pretty easily um, but just give it you know I'm gonna give it like just let it rest for like 30 seconds and I'll be back I should it took about two minutes um, the first time you change modem it should take you uh, like two three minutes but after that it should pick up right away so I'm getting edge um, here but um, it should it should go to HSDPA um, I barely get signal for HSDPA in here but you know, with this modem, I, I found that I get it, you know. Well, let's go check out the settings real quick. So you'll see that uh, my modem has been changed, finally changed to um, UGKL1. That's it. UG is uh, North America. KL is uh, 2012. One is uh, um, January. So I've, I've got the uh, modem from this year, also for USA, North America. Um, and this does improve. Uh, as soon as I step out of my office, I'll get pretty good speeds. Um, I wish I could show you. Um, let me give it. A, let me let it rest for a little bit, and then I'll show you that it does go to HSDPA. Oh, while that's working, I'll show you the um, the hack that people were trying to use, but it doesn't actually work. What it is is um, you'll go to XD, and you'll see a bunch of people saying you can do. Um, Star pound, star pound, four six three six pound, star pound, star. If you do that, you'll get the uh, testing menus, and if you hit phone information, um, it'll give you a bunch of stuff, and uh, you know you can actually change your GSM mode. Since this phone, the GSM Galaxy Nexus, it doesn't actually have um, CDMA capabilities. Like you know, it's it's not a Verizon phone. Um, you don't actually you know you don't actually need the CDMA part there so you can choose um, you can choose WCMA CDMA which is GSM plus 3G data or you can choose GSM auto PRL but the the uh, what happens is that your phone will automatically default back to GSM slash CDMA auto so it actually has no effect um, so you well you can't really change it that's what I'm saying. I even try to change the um, the build prop files and it doesn't work. So this is not the way to do it. I think it's just if you met if you flash the right modems, it, sh it should you know help you. Um, anyway, it's not going to HSDPA, but I did I did uh, several hours several hours of testing earlier um, and confirmed I'm getting uh, much better signals, um, also much better speeds. Um, on my um, with the North American modem. Anyway, that's how you flash a new modem. And also, you can find uh, um, if this video gets outdated, you can always go to XDA or just Google for Galaxy Nexus GSM modems um, and then flash the latest version and test it out. So, if you have any signal problems, hopefully, this will solve your problem. It solved mine. And uh, you know, if that the modem doesn't work, try the uh, Android 4.0.2 Android Revolution HD um, until, you know, um, that problem hopefully been fixed or maybe that, you know, 
the, the modem should fix the problem. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxynexusroot.com. Uh, we try to update you once or twice a week uh, with the latest ROM reviews, tips, hacks, and more. Um, I've been running out of time because I have too many phones now. Um, and also, you can hit that like button or and hit that subscribe button if you're on YouTube. That would be awesome. And uh, um, don't forget to leave your comments. And uh, I try to get back to everybody. So if I don't, um, you can come bug me on Facebook, Google Plus, um, or Twitter as I you know check them often. And even if I miss it, just keep bugging me and I'll, I'll get back to you. You know. And anyway, thanks y'all and uh, have a great day. I've got uh, more ROM reviews coming for Evo, 3DN, 4GN. Um, I think so. All right, see y'all later. Busy day.